I've stared death in the face plenty of times. Get down now! Oh. How is anyone not vaporized right now? Hello and welcome back to another episode of Let's React. I'm Kenny, this is my beautiful wife Montana, this is Waddles, and that's Rue. And today we're going to be reacting to Season 1, Episode 1 of Solo Leveling, I'm Used to It. Yes, Very a new series, and I'll go ahead and let you guys know off the bat, I have seen this oh one, and I see the comments, oh no, Kenny's don't, seen it before, don't. Kenny's seen it, oh, I'm so sad, I'm sorry, but here's the thing, I was working out, and I was like, I want a good workout anime, I asked my friend Chris, he's like, solo leveling is a great workout anime, I agree with that, it's really great for working out, and just great in general, but what are your thoughts before we jump into it? Levels by yourself, um... That's the stupidest fucking thing I've ever said. Um, not, that's not true, actually. Not that's not even remotely close. But if you're excited for this new series, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below for episodes coming every Thursday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you can't wait and want to see the extended, uncut versions of the episodes ahead, these episodes are already posted to Patreon in their extended full-length forms, along with episodes of the new Demon Slayer season, Jujutsu Kaisen, My Hero Academia, and Invincible. All right, are we excited for episode one of Solo Leveling? Absolutely. Absolutely. All right, let's get it. Let's go. Listen up, Dunderheads. This video was brought to you by the incredible members of the Let's React Patreon. If you want access to a ton of exclusive perks, check out the link in the description below. Have a good day, Twinkle Toes. Three years ago. All right, we have an island with a second smaller island at the top and boats everywhere. Captain, we should be in this fight. You know that isn't an option. Even if we join them, none of our weapons would deal any damage. We don't have a choice in the matter. It's in the hands of the hunters. The hunters. The hunters. That's a bug. Is it like a big ass bug? Oh. Nailed it. Stand your and fight. If they get That's back, so the scary. Okay, magic. Didn't do that much though. Yeah, didn't really do much. No, this is hopeless. Might have stood a chance if we were a higher rank, but we're not. Damn it. I'm... Fast. Oh, healing magic. Oh, that worked in fabulous. Hey, look out! More bugs. Now, no, you know, right. Pretty cool, right? This is fantastic. It's very well very animated. cool animation. Came out this year. The combination of bugs and magic is very interesting to me, and I don't quite know why. It's like ancient versus new age, kind of in a way. That's yeah. There we go. Yes, they're here. Leave it to the S rank hunters to clean house. I think Yungu's a little too eager. I'm sorry. S rank but hunters. The sooner I act, the more people I heal. Besides. Oh, is that like S tier when people talk about tier? Oh, okay. Mm. I know that. Oh. It's big, but I don't Is think that the queen? The Probably just a lead past of this infestation. Byungu, look after the wounded. Are you ready for this, Unsuck? You know it! You know that voice. Do I? Who is All it? might. Oh, ah, very cool. Oh, gross. At least I think that's all my... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that'll do it. God, there's so many of these now. Lucky us. <laughs> oh. Oh. 
Holy so shit. Made it. I love no the animation of the show. Time. Suppose we should get started too. Guildmaster! On your order! Right. Guildmaster? Guild. Oh. Holy shit. All units. Attack! More than a decade ago, a series of pathways appeared connecting our world to another dimension and ushering in untold horrors. For the other side of these gates teemed with bizarre creatures called magic beasts. Though these monsters proved immune to conventional weaponry, some humans awakened abilities to combat the threat. They okay. are known as hunters. There's S, A, B, C, D, leaving E as the lowest level. Oh. No amount of training will improve their power once it awakens. A hunter's strength and rank are set from day one. Interesting. So, what are your thoughts on that opening scene? And also, Very the, cool. what they just revealed. Okay. It, I think it would help you to think of it kind of like Jujutsu Kaisen. Yeah, it seems like it. It's magic energy instead of cursed energy, mm -hmm. in a way. Very cool. The idea that there's no ability to level up solo leveling. There we go. The single, you're born on a level, or you, you have a level, you awaken on a level, and then that is your singular level or your solo level. Yeah. So you can advance and you're born with a, you're, when you awaken, you become a hunter of a certain level and that's just where you are. Yeah. Cause like, how do you train if you just kind of get what you get? I mean, I guess you can like practice with a weapon and get better at it and the weapon isn't changing. It's also your magic energy, not yeah. necessarily like a weapon. Right. Yeah. But, uh, so that whole battle happened three years ago and now we are here. Who is, I felt so bad for whoever that E person was. The guy at the bottom? They were like, here are several examples for the best. Here are several examples for the second best. Several examples for the third best. Several examples for the fourth best. And then there's this one fucking guy <laughs> at the bottom all by himself, which is mean and Pretty, unnecessary. Yeah. I don't know why they did that. Well, um, we'll have to we'll see, see what they're cooking up with that three years later. Oh, and also all They're these portals cooking. to another dimension opened yes, with a bunch yes, of yes, monsters yes. behind them that mm -hmm. kept trying to come in, and only hunters can fight them. Yes. Yeah. Present What's day. the ratio of hunters to non-hunters? Did they say? What do you mean non-hunters? Like people oh, who are born Oh, in society? With, yeah. I guess they'll say. Okay. It's <laughs> another one of those series where you just start to figure it out over time. All right. I'm starting to wonder Best of luck to you and your crew on today's raid. Thank you. No need to overthink it. Hey! What's up, Mr. Kim? Long time no see. <laughs> now there's a face I wasn't expecting. Thought you said you had your fill of honey, bum sheet. <laughs> that was before baby number two was on the way. A successful raid will definitely score you a pretty nice mint for your new kiddo. Huh. Is that a Genu Sung I see? Yo, what's going on? Came out <laughs> despite the cold, huh? Yeah. <laughs> nice to be working with you guys again. Why is everybody flagging him down? Is that kid like a big deal or something? <laughs> He's the exact opposite. Genu joined up not long after you quit. Well, I call him the weakest hunter of all mankind. <laughs> Wait, really? That's a thing? It was once he got hospitalized after a trip through an E-rank gate. If that isn't weak, then I don't know what is. It's hard to picture Jesus somebody Christ. being that bad. But he is, so just him being here means it's gonna be a real easy raid. We should probably drop it. I'd hate for him to overhear us. Too late. Heard every word. Well, <laughs> they didn't say anything that isn't true, so I can't argue. Genu! Oh. You got hurt again! Yeah, but I'll live. It's good to see you, Chuhi. How about you skip the small talk and explain what happened to you? No, oh, uh, yeah, the same thing that usually happens. <laughs> you seriously need to be more careful. I heard you even had a hospital stay. Hey, silver lining, though, is that I was the only one hurt. So, what exactly went wrong? The rest of the team was a higher rank, and the dungeon was an E, so they didn't think to bring a healer. They didn't bring a healer? Of all the thoughtless, self-centered things to do! Not like I'm mad. It isn't their fault I'm so weak. I'm used to being treated that way by hunters. Figures you knew that. Mm. Uh, it looks like they're ready to head inside. Come on. So rough life for Jinwoo. He seems so fine with it. Well, this is the thing about this world. 
can't advance. You're just you're just stuck at your level, so you yeah. gotta accept it or just be sad all the like, time. You're definitely playing the hand you're dealt, but like I don't know, you could still complain a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so they went into an E rank gate, one of those portals, right. and, and he, the lowest rank, and he still got hospitalized. Yeah. Not so a great he really level. shouldn't be doing that, and that's like the lowest level you can possibly be doing. So like he probably shouldn't be doing this at all. The name's Chil Sung, and unless any of you have objections, I volunteer to be the leader of our dungeon raid. Speak now or hold your peace. Nope, I'm all for it. Chi all is the most skilled out of everybody here. One less worry if he's in charge. Working with you, sir, is an absolute privilege. Thanks. Now, with that settled, shall we? Hey, kid. How is hey, he not going to get just absolutely get fucked up hurt. going through this now? Well, I think you might have just heard the answer to your question. <laughs> Hang behind the rest of the pack and don't get yourself hurt. Good idea. I'll try. Focus on succeeding, not trying. Well, Star Wars reference this there. This knife has barely any Very magic cool. power in it, but it was the only weapon I could afford. Hey, it's better than nothing. <sighs> All right, let's see this through to the end. By the way, this is Zenitsu's voice actor. Oh, okay. Interesting. Ah, welcome back, Chairman Go. How was your meeting with the administration? We covered the usual talking points. Dungeon breaks are a constant problem, but they still want the resources we collect from every open gate. Their demands are logical. Anyone with sense would agree. Hunting's now one of the most lucrative careers on Earth, thanks to the treasures found in those monster dens. Who would have guessed the trophies inside Magic Beasts? Ooh. These essence stones would be so valuable. So those, that happens when you... An essence stone. Yep. Okay. I, I actually got one. Oh, he got one. I can hardly believe it. Oh no. <laughs> oh my god. There goes his knife. Oh, okay. <laughs> Didn't think of that one. Don't pull out the knife. Look after him and pass him up if you can. Right, I will. You're going to be okay. I'll make you good as new. We hunters gather essence stones from high rank beasts and use them to create weapons and armor that allow us to take down even more creatures in a vicious cycle. One would think we just harvest mana crystals since they perform the same function, yet they're less potent and make for weaker gear. But the government's interested in a much different use? As a new power source, yes. So that big thing he found is very different from that. Well, b big thing. The one he was holding in the his hand. The one he was holding is just a different version of that. These are really nice ones. That was from a low level beast. Okay. But the so one the next to it. the fancier the beast, the fancier the stone? Yes. Okay. And the one next to it's the one he's talking about in this monologue. The blue shards. Gotcha. Cycle. Okay. One would think we just harvest mana crystals since they perform the same function. That's Yet that. they're less mm -hmm. potent to make for weaker gear. But the government's interested in a much different use? As a new power source, yes. They're safer than nuclear, more efficient than water, wind, or geothermal, and don't pollute the atmosphere like fossil fuels. Quite simply, the ideal clean energy. As we speak, scientists are working to get those magic minerals to produce electricity. A rare fuel source only hunters are able to collect. Making the burden that all hunters bear heavier than it already was. <laughs> They seem very excited you about this. You as a hunter because you're too stubborn to quit, right? It's only a matter of when, not if something much worse happens. I thought your stomach was all that needed healing, but you're hurt everywhere. Sorry. I'm not asking for an apology here, okay? I'm worried about you. Everyone good? All loot collected? If 
they can fetch a price, safe to say we got it. Monocrystals are scarce here as essence stones. This dungeon was one dry cash cow. I guess it's over. And all I have to show for it is a single E-rank essence stone. What a crap reward for risking my life. Hey! Huh? Come take a look at this, guys! A cave? Or a tunnel, maybe. Either way, it seems to go pretty far. This has to be a double dungeon. Never seen one in person, though. I was wondering why there weren't any signs of this place shutting down after we beat that mutt. I have to admit, that thought crossed my mind, too. And there's more. Maybe. This cash cow might not be as dry as we assumed. Standard procedure is to report cases like this to the Hunters Association and wait for their approval. Now hang on a second here. That'd give other hunters a chance to beat the boss and loot the goods. There isn't any part of a D-ranked dungeon that will be out of our group's league. He's got another kid on the way. He was banking on a decent haul from this raid. It'd be okay to bend the rules a tiny bit, right? Just a smidge? I understand how you feel, but going any farther would endanger our lives. So I say we put it to a vote. I vote no. Same here. It's worth checking out. I agree. Me too. Uh, I beg to differ. Come on, let's go. We'll be fine. This is I'm very sorry. casual. I really don't want to. That's six in favor of going and six opposed. Which would make Genu here the deciding vote. Genu oh, is God. what you say his name. It's up to me. Even if the He's the deciding is vote. The D rank, I'm in trouble no matter what. Still, with dad missing, I'm the only one who can provide for my family. His Mom's dad's missing. Free, and then there's my sister's college tuition. I don't want money. I World building. It. Okay. I vote yes. So that's why he does this. Alright. Okay. So he's funding his mom's hospital bills and his Raise sister's right college. Like, and just try to relax. which is admirable. Yeah. We're ready for whoever's next. As of right now, a B-rank hunter and two C-ranks agreed to sign with our guild, so it's going rather well, I'd say. I think you'll be pleased, Guildmaster. Kind of looks like the if island. Anybody seems like an asset, make them an offer. I doubt they'll compare to someone like Kane Cha, but the world is full of surprises. There's the guy right. from the fight at the three years ago. Very open-minded. Love that. Oh God. Oh my goodness. Very cool. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta get the hat first. Gosh, that was incredible. Here. Thank you. Thank you so much. Get out. The Aspray Hunter. Oh, hot damn. I it is like a like to leave. <laughs> How do they know what rank she is? She's very famous. Oh, okay. S ranks are pretty famous. Gotcha, okay. Wow. Yeah, S rank is the top. Okay, so like the most famous people are well known, but theoretically if someone were to just gain S tier powers, people around them wouldn't be able to visually tell the difference. No. Cool. cool, it's, cool, cool. it's just S ranks get famous over time for being so powerful. Okay, cool. And look, she's like practically yeah, a superhero. Right. How long has That's it been very since cool. We started this track? About 40 minutes. Gates close an hour after the boss is defeated, so we'll have 20 minutes to spare. Chugi, I'm really sorry. What'd you do now? I voted yes to come down here, even though you hoped that we'd call it quits. I'm the last thing you should be worried about, so stop it. I'll stop if you're sure you're okay. I'm obviously not okay! Get a sudden case of amnesia? Or has it not occurred to you that Goblin could have struck a little higher and ended your life? Healing up that wound along with your arms and legs wasn't easy, Genu. Uh, I swear you hit your head. That's the only explanation for how much of an idiot you're being. I'm sorry. <laughs> Chuhi's B-rank healing spells have come in clutch on more than one occasion. Do you really grasp the issue here? Yeah. <laughs> No. Well, in that case, you could always show your thanks by taking me out to eat somewhere. Oh? <laughs> Why the shock? Is the thought of treating me to a meal so upsetting to you? No, 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 no. That, that's <laughs> not it at all. Finally! I don't... We found the lair! Okay. These are who we're modeled after for the... <laughs> that's funny. It's kind of unnerving. Mm -hmm. 
For those who don't know me, I'm Gunhiko. Greetings from the Hunters Association's current chair. Some of you newly awakened will choose to become hunters, some won't. But I ask that you consider carefully before deciding. It's been ten years since the gates appeared, yet they still remain a mystery for the most part. So to become a hunter is to risk your life. Even those accustomed to raids cannot let their guards down. My best advice to ensure your survival would be... Stay both humble and afraid. Okay, so some people choose not to, even though they have powers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> let there be light! It's just and really that's lucrative. like fine. This yeah. Dungeon yeah. Is unique, all right. What's with the old statues? They each have something different. Yeah, a weapon or They're going to be alive, aren't oh, they? Oh. He makes the others seem like toys. He a king? King of creepiness. So where are the mana <laughs> crystals and magic beasts? I'm saying I don't even see bugs. What's this for? Divination? Mr. Song! Something's written over here! In ancient script, of course. The Kartanon Temple's commandments are as follows. First, thou shalt worship God. Second, Genu. thou shalt praise God. That huge stone statue, I saw its eyes move. It's been watching us this entire time. Uh, hate that. There is no way of seeing things. You will not live alive. The door! It just shut on its own! Oh. But why? It's fine. I'm sure we can open it back up again. <laughs> Better hope so. I knew we shouldn't have kept going, but I was outvoted. If there's treasure lying around, you idiots are welcome to it. I'm leaving! Look out! Nope. He's a trap! Oh. That's a fast giant statue. Yep. Oh, oh no. Not good. At least. Oh, this is so anyway. bad. I mean, who is it? Then he was gone, just like that. What's going on? This is a D-rank dungeon. No, oh, no, there aren't supposed to be things like that down here. If these statues are moving, then that means... Oh! I've stared death in the face plenty of times since I became a hunter. In my first raid, I lost my party and wound up stranded. E-rank monsters have hospitalized me for weeks. There was a time I nearly starved to death in a labyrinth. It could be the lowest of low-rank dungeons, but I'll still be fighting for my life. Most hunters buy upgraded gear with the cash they make from selling essence stones. They take down stronger beasts, reap bigger rewards. And just keep getting when stronger. I break the bank just splurging on cheap knives. And once they break, that's it. Back to ah. with my bare hands. <sighs> Being Even poor is expensive. Shot. Day after excruciating day. <laughs> I endure the mockery and perform this life-threatening job that takes way more than it gives. Because I've learned that I can survive most anything if I keep my eyes peeled for opportunities. Maybe that's why I was able to tell. Get down now! Oh. How is anyone not vaporized right now? He said, get down. How do we trigger it? I think I know. You're all right, Pumpkin. Somehow. What about you? I'm fine. No more. Please, no more. What just happened? This can't be real. But it is, we're trapped. Done for. Dead. We're all gonna die! Oh boy. And that all is right. where we are left for episode one. I'm hooked. Of solo leveling. I'm invested. Wait. I will be done, O oh Lord, for only you know the way. No, it doesn't apply to this god. We revere and honor your holy name. 
A wondrous ruler? Hear my cries, for it's in your name I- What are your first thoughts? Fabulous you pilot. Like I like it. Yeah, yeah no, it I'm really excited. gets you into it. It quick. does. No, that's a, a very well done intro. They're not in a good spot right this now. This seems terrible. Yeah, I don't know how that possibly is categorized as D tier. There's no way. Yeah. There's no way. Like even the very best, most impressive people were like, what is happening right now? Yeah, that's where we're left for this episode. And thank you for watching. And before we get into our discussion section, make sure to like, comment, subscribe down below for episodes coming every Thursday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you can't wait and want to see these episodes right now, they're all posted to Patreon in their extended full-length forms, along with episodes from our other shows as well. We have a lot to discuss before we do that. Where are we headed? All right, let's review. Thank you for watching. For now, we're going to go to questions given to us by our amazing Patreon members. If you want to ask us questions we answer after every episode of any show we watch, join the link in the description below and start asking. For now, let's go to question one. So first of all, I want to say that this is, uh, I believe, an isekai, which is different than a shonen, which is the typical anime we watch. Isekai often have to do with leveling up. So people call this a reverse isekai, where essentially you can't the level up. The point is that you start. don't. Yeah. Okay. Um, so... I will ask this first question, which is from HBOM24. What are your thoughts on the reverse Isekai world of solo leveling and its rules, with hunters being given a rank and power level and being stuck with it forever? That is so fascinating. Because it really takes away like a lot of the incentive to try to get better. Duh. <laughs> Or just try to like improve in general because even if you you know get better weapons or get more practice using those weapons at a base level you're still the same skill that's it's the same power level same power level skill level yeah at, at a base level it's still the same amount of power with that being said it also makes me feel like it would encourage people to be more creative what it kind of reminds me of is like Deku and My Hero Academia, where because he had this goal to be a hero, but didn't have a power for so long, he figured out like every other possible way that he could improve himself so that when he did get power, it was like, oh my God, wow, you have this whole like background that you can now like incorporate and like whatever with this newfound power. And since in this universe, you kind of get what you get tier wise, the focus improvement wise has to be external like honing mm -hmm. your skill rather than your increasing your power or strategy like how yeah. you use it definitely an interesting format it really is i'm very very curious to watch more yeah let's go to our second question which is kind of branching off uh, yeah katsuki bakugot asks what do you think about jinu weaponizing all his experience with weakness as a natural instinct to survive the initial attack in the double dungeon do you think this could be seen as portrayal of how neurodivergence is seen as a weakness by many but can often become a great source of strength very interesting yeah i totally see that because he was the one who told everybody to get down mm -hmm. yeah the idea that something that has just perpetually set you back in certain specific typically very scary and intense situations that same skill that was like frowned upon or looked down upon is like the thing that saves everyone yeah it's an interesting scenario where he's used to being the weakest and everybody else being able to fight but now they all are super weak so they're not used to being in that position as no much. exactly what it, it the other thing that it reminds me of and i've made this comparison before i think in a different show was like very anxious people at the beginning of covid where like obviously it wasn't good for anxious people but if you're perpetually anxious about nothing and everyone around you is like i'm not anxious there's nothing to be anxious about and then all of a sudden something happens globally where everyone is now panicking at a similar level or higher than kind of your typical baseline i know how to function whereas people who were fine before have had no experience going about their lives while being just debilitatingly anxious so there was kind of a moment of like yeah obviously this isn't good but it is interesting to be in a situation where my anxiety level is on par with everyone else that has never happened other than the very beginning of covid yeah it, it, it provides him with like a little bit of a 
edge in certain areas where they all are like considered like when weak. everything is shitty you have a leg up yeah uh so definitely interesting that he was found some usefulness there let's go to our final question final question day asks what are your thoughts about entering the double dungeon do you think it was the right decision giving the limited knowledge known before opening the door i mean Maybe my answer would be different if I didn't know what yeah. had happened, but looking back on it, that was the but, stupidest thing they could have possibly done. Do you remember what you felt when you they first decided to go after it, when they were voting? I think my inclination was no, but that was specifically because I was thinking about our main character, and if he barely got through the... like. He's not doing well after the first <laughs> yeah. one. They still have to get back through the portal. The fact that the healer was not on board. I feel like if, if if the person who's in charge of making you better if you're hurt is like, don't do this. You should not do that thing. Yeah, um, I had a feeling you would sympathize with the healer. Well, just like... You guys have similar tendencies. That's sweet. Like, especially being in a position where... I don't know if healers in this universe have a Hippocratic Oath. But, like, the idea that y you'll... You will do no harm and you'll help people no matter what. Like, you will do your best to save as many people as you can, you know, even if it means putting your life at risk. Jinu knows that, knows that she would go with him even though she doesn't want to, and then decided anyway, which is, you know, a, a frustrating position. So I don't think I, I would have wanted them to go for it specifically because of, like, their dynamic. For the whole group, I thought it would probably be fine because all of the people that we like met before they went through the portal seemed so confident and casual and like high level. I guess it really depends on how likely it is that like two dungeons next to each other are the same level of difficulty. Because if that happens like 99% of the time and like the just it's pretty much guaranteed to be exactly the same, then I totally understand where they were coming from, especially after a shitty haul. If it was like 50% of the time it's the same tier, 25% it's worse, 25% it's better, like that is not worth it. What the fuck? Like, oh my God. Yeah, so that, that kind of impacts my answer, regardless of w which way the answer actually is. But just from the vibes, it seemed like it was a pretty logical conclusion to say like, okay, yeah, that one was fine. We're, we can probably do this one. So then I, I don't I don't think that was like all that irresponsible for everyone except our main character. Yeah. You know what kind of got me when I first watched it? What? The big door. I was like, I don't like that. Don't like that either. Yeah. But I don't uh, like the fact that it closed by itself. Hi, Hogue. Yeah. We're going to have to see who makes it out of this or how they make it out of this <laughs> or if they make it out of this. But everyone dies. Yeah, show's over. That is where we're left for episode one of Solo Leveling. Are we excited for episode two? Can't wait. All right. Let's get it. Let's go. Let's go.